Hey guys, this is Naturally Greer and I am coming to you with my new setup. Um, I'm also coming to you answering some of your questions that you had as far as my MP video. So you asked and here's my answers. So here we go. I had a very interesting question from CPJ80. She said, I graduated from my direct entry program as an FMP in May 2015 and plan to take both AANC and AANP. They are both the certifying boards that you can take. Um, since the employers in my state have different preferences for certification and I do not want to be limited um, in my job search, can you please do a general video on the employment search, salary negotiation or orientation process? Did you consider doing a residency program when you first graduated? Okay, so first thing to address, um, CPJ80, there is no reason you should be taking both AANC and AANP. Um, I actually contacted uh, one of the representatives at AANP. Um, no one contacted me back at AANC, uh, but I did email both of them. And her name was um, Genevieve, Genevieve Reyes. And she contacted me back and she said, there uh, is no state requiring both certifying bodies, uh, nor shall any employer discriminate against any certification you may hold. So it is not necessary for you to do both. Um, they have to be accepting of one or the other. And, you know, you do which one you feel like um, will benefit you more. Like I said in my previous video, um, I'll put the link for it here, that AANC is more for uh, someone uh, that graduates that wants to teach uh, because it is more in that uh, arena and AANP is more geared towards a person who plans on or has a mindset of practicing in the field of an, as a nurse practitioner so you know it's wherever your strengths lie um, in, for employment as a nurse practitioner I know a lot of people I have run into have said they've had a hard time finding jobs at times um, like I said in my previous video, um, having a good preceptor and relying heavily on your preceptor to help you maneuver through this um, is crucial. Um, they're your first contact into the job force. Um, like I said, my first uh, really, really good preceptor that I had as a nurse practitioner got me my first job. You know, I think it's always a good thing to network and know people and you know really understand um, how to socialize in your own community of practice uh, whatever you decide to do as an MP so I hope that answers your question um, salary negotiation and orientation process um, for salary negotiation I have a really good link below of how to write up a contract um, an agreement um, as far as far as the salary negotiation, um, I always start higher than I really want to be um, because they're going to talk you down anyway. That's just how doctors are. Um, when you're dealing with like private sector type environments or clinics, um, as far as like the big hospitals and things like that, they're kind of set. Um, there's not a whole bunch of negotiation that can be done as far as the salary goes because it's just around the board starting point for a lot. Um, if you have a lot of experience or a lot of pull, then you may be able to negotiate somewhat. But um, as a new nurse practitioner starting off um, in a hospital type setting or whatever, don't plan on negotiating too much. Um, as well as the private sector. I mean, your thing is to get experience so that your next job can be better because the likelihood of you staying where you are your first year is slim to none. So, you know, get your foot in the door, get your experience. Don't worry about so much negotiation. You know, is it something that you can do and work with financially? And uh, as far as the time is allotted, is all that you need to really aim for at the beginning. Get your experience, you know, six months to a year and move on and you know then the next job you can negotiate a little bit more about salary and you know time off and you know benefits and all that stuff but um and that like i said is more in the private sector than you will find in the 
the larger sectors with like hospitals and things like that, that you have a lot of negotiation power. Uh, did you consider doing a residency program when you first graduated? There are no residency programs really offered in Louisiana, so no, it was not uh, a consideration for me. If it's something that is available to you to fill or gain some knowledge on a specific specialty, um, I would definitely tell you to do so. Um, but, you know, it depends on your mindset and your mind frame. If you're a quick and easy learner and you can gain things really quickly, it may not be necessary. If it's something that you feel like you want to learn more about, it may be. If, uh, what type of conferences would you recommend for MP students in general and specifically? Um, I'm guessing you mean like CE hours and things like that to gain more skill. Um, I usually attend uh, my local LEMP conference. Um, next year, I think I'm going to be doing an AMA, uh, which is geared towards more of uh, geared towards doctors, American Medical Association. Uh, but, you know, it just depends on what you're doing at the time and what setting you're working in. So, you know, there are a bunch of conferences. There are a bunch of places where you could get CE hours. Um, I think you should focus or hone in on wherever you are at that time. So if you're in a geriatric type facility or clinic, then do things that are geared towards that setting. If you're doing psych or mental health, then do something that you know will help you with that and understand the different processes, depression, bipolar, and all that stuff that's going on a little bit more. Um, so that's what I'll say about you know conferences or CEs if that's what you're referring to. Um, that's what I would um, prompt you to do. So that is the end of the questions I think at this time. I hope I answered yours. If you have any other additional questions, please put them below. Um, in the link you will find some websites to go to to help you further your search on this NP career and um, I hope this helps and I hope you like and I hope you subscribe and comment below. So check y'all later. Bye.